So we were playing the first adventure in Rise of the Rune Lord's adventure path last night. Our party consisted of an elven rogue, a human warblade, a half-elven druid, and a large cat animal companion, a human monk, me, and an inquisitor who was unconscious due to the winds inflicted upon him during the initial goblin attack, and in jail because he fired indiscriminately into a crowd during the goblin attack. The able-bodied members of the party were investigating the case of a goblin who was hiding under the floorboards of a little boy's room. The goblin had already killed the family's dog and eaten the father's face when he stuck his head into a hole that the goblin used to get under the floorboards. The party was afraid to look into the hole themselves because some of the players had tried playing this adventure before and suffered a total party kill in this encounter. Our first idea was to embed a fishing hook into a morsel of food and then haul the goblin out of the hole if he ate it, using the druid's fishing pole. I had suggested baking the hook into a meatball, but the rest of the party was too stingy for that and used a piece of bread, which the goblin was uninterested in. The druid, in his infinite wisdom, then threw a few fish he had caught earlier into the hole. I then stood over the hole with a crossbow and waited for the goblin to come get the fish because I sure as hell wasn't going down there. Unfortunately, it was night and I was human, so I had to hold a lantern while watching the hole. Understandably, the goblin did not go for the fish while I waited. While we were doing this, mother kept trying to barge into the room to see what was going on. We didn't want her to see the dead husband, so we ushered her outside and then used the child's bed with his dead dog and father piled on top to barricade the front door. We then started working on a new plan, during which time, the goblin ran over and took the fish, making any plans that relied on the goblin being hungry unusable. We decided that we needed to send someone down there, but that the small hole in the closet left us too vulnerable. We started prying up floorboards to make a hole large enough to climb through without making an escape artist check. Once we had made the hole, the druid refused to send his cat down, so the warblade went down instead. Unfortunately, the goblin was a third level rogue, it sneaked up on the warblade and backstabbed him as he was scanning the crawl space with a bullseye lantern and crossbow. At this point, the rest of the party was able to see the goblin and attack. I stunning fisted the goblin, but did minimum damage and the goblin just barely made it safe and the warblade shot it at point blank with its crossbow. The goblin then ran away, back into the safe darkness of the crawl space. The rogue decided the only solution was to pry up the rest of the floorboards in the little boy's room. He scatters cal traps in the two holes that already exist to prevent the goblin from sneaking up on us and starts prying up the boards. In order to make the room, we moved all the furniture and boards into the house's common room, making it impassable without an escape artist check. In order to adequately light up the crawl space, I sneak my way through the common room, gathering all of the lanterns in the house. Unfortunately, I fail my escape artist check a couple of times, drop four oil lamps, and spill oil all over the place. When I got back to the child's room, the druid informed me that he had 10 torches all along. As we are lighting all of the torches and sticking them into the dirt floor, we hear something climbing up around in the walls, followed by noises above the ceiling. We then hear a commotion coming from the master bedroom, where the war blade is recuperating from his previous encounter with the goblin. The rogue and I successfully pick out a way through the common room and into the master bedroom, where we find the goblin standing over the bleeding body of the warblade. We finish off the goblin and start putting out the fire that started when the torch he was carrying fell on the bed. While this is happening, the druid is trying to make his way through the crowded, oil-drenched common room holding a torch. He fails his escape artist check and drops his torch, starting a rather large fire. He and his cat finally make their way into the master bedroom and inform us that there is a large fire in the common room. There are no windows in the master bedroom, so we have to make the escape through the hole the goblin made in the ceiling. The druid stabilises the warblade, and the rogue and I hoist him into the attic with us. We drag the warblade through the attic, over the child's room, where there's a window, choking on the smoke as we go. The druid climbs up the rope and begins trying to hoist his cat up, with its strength, while the rogue and I start breaking a hole in the ceiling so we can escape. The rogue jumps down into the child's room first, Landing on the cal traps he laid down earlier, I feed the war blade through the hole and then jump down myself, once again into the cal traps because the rogue did not warn me. The druid continues trying in vain to pull his cat up, 
thinking it won't be able to climb up itself, until it eventually gives up and tells the cat to try and climb up, which it does on its first try. The druid and the cat jump down into the child's room, this time with a warning from me about the caltrops. We crawl across the floor towards the window. I start feeling around for the window with my quarterstaff, eventually finding it and breaking it. The child tries to jump into the burning building to save his father, who he thinks is still alive. The rogue dives out of the window and holds the child back. I throw the goblin's body, which I kept as proof, out of the window, right into the boy's face and sending him screaming into the night. The cat jumps out of the building, carrying the war blade in his mouth. I follow. The druid attempts to dive through the window, but trips and lands on the shards of glass protruding from the window frame, barely remaining conscious. Outside the house, the town folk are standing around gawking, and the mother is pounding vainly at the door that we barricaded earlier, trying to rescue her husband that she thinks is burning to death inside. I shout at the townsfolk to form a bucket brigade to keep the fire under control, punch the woman unconscious to prevent her from running to her death in the burning building, a possible violation of my lawful good alignment, and carrying her off to the temple where I summon the priest to assist in controlling the fire using his create water spell. It was at this point we left off for the night. So let me get this straight. You guys went to go kill a goblin and came out with the party half dead, a missing child, a woman beaten unconscious and a budding town fire that you guys caused? Are you serious? That really happened? Unfortunately, yes, I am serious. We don't try to start fires. They, they just kind of happen when we're around. So I don't know how many of you guys can remember, but I did a video a wee while back called The Village, and the story that it was about was about a group of the commoners, and they have to go deal with the rats in the basement, and they all die horribly. And this here story kind of, it gave me the same feel as uh, as that one. I'll link to it down below if you haven't got the chance. If you like this one, then you'll definitely enjoy The Village, so definitely go ahead and do that. If that's what you're into. I know this one was very short and, you know, normally I like to do, like, longer stories. But, I don't know, there's something about it. I really enjoyed it. You know, I love shit shows. You know what I mean? I love a good shit show where, like, you know, not any, like, it wasn't like anyone was being a dickhead about it. Or, you know, there was a that guy or a Mary Sue or whatever. It was just a fucking shit show. And I really enjoy them. So, you know, like. Anyway, look, as always, remember to like, subscribe, comment, all that other good shit, and I'll see you in the next video.